Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to do the next battle in the Alhazard's Aftermath Arrival event, which is called Evil Sword Echo 7. So it looks like we may just get 10 of these Evil Sword Echo battles, because it's currently the 3rd, and we have till the 11th for the end of this event. So we've been getting one battle every other day, so maybe we'll get another battle on September 5th, then another battle on September 7th, then another battle on September 9th. And that leaves two additional days. But we'll see. I Again, I could be wrong. I really don't know how many Evil Sword Echo battles there actually are. But yeah, it's pretty interesting that we've gotten so many and there seems to be more still. So, for this battle, it's yet another level 60 battle. And there is a new item, Sullen Darkfire, from this one. Rather than just the Alhazard's Aftermath items. Don't know what this does. Uh, we'll see. So let's just jump in and play it out. Heroes of the Raygard Empire. Alright, so again, Yulia joins your party. This time she has Prayer, Miracle, and Heal. You can deploy six characters to this fight. And the enemy heroes are Leon, Lena, Egbert, Hein, Liana, and a Golden Skeleton, that's boss class. However, this Golden Skeleton has Dark Centurion Soldiers, and it's effectively Elwyn, because it has Brave's Will, Frontal Assault, Defense Break, and Roar. So, a lot of enemy heroes. The thing about this fight is, the enemies tend to have very high stats in general. Uh, even higher than what is displayed in the pre-battle. I'll go over them in greater detail once I click attack. So because they have actually because they actually have more stats than are shown here right now, this battle can be a little bit misleading. So I actually uh, retreated my first attempt on this because of that. I could have beaten it, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to find a method that relies on zero luck that Basically, everyone can imitate with the old school characters. The best character for this fight, without doubt, would be Rene. Rene, if she has Rene Annihilation, allowing her to reduce the enemy magic defense to zero, she can easily crush any of these heroes with that skill. So that's why Rene would be, without doubt, the best character who would simplify this fight. But I'm going to assume you're using old school characters, no Rene, and thus I'm going to design a party according to that. So, let's use Leaden. I'm definitely going to bring a ring, a magic attacker and a physical attacker. So physical attacker can be Leon, magic attacker can be Lana, with free strike, dark reaper, and you can throw magic defense intimidate on her for some additional damage reduction to the enemies. Other than that, these last three slots, I'm going to bring Bozel with Sleep, Fireball, and Faction Buff to buff up Lena. I'm going to bring Liana for Act Again. And finally, I'm going to bring Sophia for Rewind. So, with my 6-star Lana, I know for a fact that I can kill this Leon pretty easily, but I'm going to play as if I can't. So maybe, because I know a lot of my viewers may not have a 6-star Lana who can easily take down this Leon. So, with all that said, let's begin the fight. So, here we go. So, why is this battle so misleading? because of the buffs that these enemy heroes get. 
and it's actually it's not linked to Leon's army assault aura. The army assault aura is actually fine, right? Before attacking, gain 3% damage for every block moved, up to a maximum of 9%, cannot be dispelled. That's not a big deal. The big issue is the buffs that all these enemies have. Empire's Honor. Defense is increased by 100%, immune to attack decreasing effects and hit point based fixed damage. In addition, he also have Love Bond. Lana and Leon fight together. Hero attack and int increased by 50%. Magic defense increased by 100%. So that is why this Leon has ridiculous attack, ridiculous defense, ridiculous magic defense. Insanely hard to kill, unless you have a six star heroes in general. So you have to kill Lana first before you would deal with Leon. Because Lana is vulnerable to physical attacks. Even though she is basically immune to magic. Other than Lana and Leon, Egbert, who has three AoE strikes, Desiccate, Mindborn, Acid Burn, also has Empire's Honor. So he's not very vulnerable to melee attacks. In other words, you really have to kill him with magic. So those are the three characters in the front that you have to deal with first. Other than these three, Liana has an effect, Mythic Glory. All stats, excluding hit points, increased by 25%. So she has pretty decent magic defense, defense, and intelligence as a result of that. In terms of skills, she has healing light. Sorry, in terms of skills, she has heal, prayer, and super rewind. Super rewind is almost identical to the regular rewind. The only changes are that first, it has a four turn cooldown rather than five turn cooldown. And second, it decreases the skill cooldown for all allies within range by four turns rather than three. Other than Liana, Hein also has the Mythic Glory buff. So he has pretty low defense, but quite good magic defense value. And he also has three AoE attacks. Heaven's Flame, Thunderstorm, and Forget. So rather annoying character to deal with. Last but not least is the Golden Skeleton who also has the Mythic Glory buff, giving him pretty decent stats in defense and attack, although his magic defense is a bit lower. So once again, so Lena with her Dark Reaper will really be key to this fight in general. Okay, so that's everything I want to- oh, the last thing, the most important thing about why Leon is a nightmare is he has this skill, Night Tracking. After entering battle, cast his tracking target on the enemy. Increases his physical damage taken by 70%. It lasts 3 turns, can be stacked, ignores immunity, cannot be dispelled. So, in other words, you can't really take hits from Leon because of, of night tracking. And that is why I bring Bozo with Steed. So with everything covered now, let's begin the battle with my party. So, here we go. Ledin is going to move up one tile initially and activate Divine Guard here. And I'm going to place characters on the edges of his guard's range to draw out the attacks from these two cavalry enemies to kill them. Other than that, let's have Leon assault this infantry general, killing it off, and move into that guard range to force this heavy cavalry to attack my Ledin. Similarly, Lana will do the same. Free strike on an infantry to weaken it, and then draw the attack from the cavalry. So, for the remaining actions, let's have Bozo faction buff. I need to apply Sage's Hat on Ledin, which means I need to place a character right here to Sage's Hat him, which means moving Yulia out of the way. Let's just move Liana up. She's not going to use any skills. Oh sorry, let's move Liana up. Yulia will just shift over and miracle up this group. Buffing their damage dealt and reducing the damage they take. And finally, Sophia will come up and regenerate Ledin. So Ledin will now crush two cavalry enemies and the infantry. 
the enemy Leon doesn't have enough mobility to attack me with how I positioned. And once this infantry suicides, it'll be my turn. So there we go. Alright. So now, the very absolute first thing I'm going to do is put this Leon to sleep. Knock him out. So that he can't attack me. I want Ledin to crush these two. But in the meantime, I can have Ledin do some damage to this Leon. Or at least to Leon's soldiers, I should say. So... Let's apply as much damage as I can to Leon in the meantime. So let's have my Leon just melee attack and then, then start shifting north so that he's in position to hit the enemy line. Let's have Lena also attack. Well, let's have Lena. Finish off these Royal Calvary first. There we go. Now Lena can toss out a Dark Reaper doing 7,000 damage. Right? And then Sophia can rewind everyone. Or wait. I'm just going to hold off on. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. See, I could rewind now, or I could hold off. I'm gonna hold off and just Sage's hat let in. Finally, Yulia can just move up. Whatever. Prayer, sure. So, let in once again has Sage's hat, so he will finish off those last two heavy cavalry enemies. Leon, who, if you recall, has not used any of his skills yet, can chivalry and assault the enemy Lena. So he's gonna go up, chivalry up, and assault. And this Lena, well, with, with horror helm activating, it has 269 defense, so it's an easy kill. Probably even if I don't use assault, it'll die. Assault, of course, always helps. So down goes Lena. And with Lena dead, the enemy Leon no longer has the crazy magic defense value. So it's now a pretty easy kill for my Lena. So here we go. Lena range attack instantly kills off Leon. And next is to deal with Igbert, clearly. So let's get into position for that. Now, the interesting thing here is once I trigger the enemies, this Igbert is also triggered. So, or if I kill this Igbert, the northern enemies are triggered. So, whether you decide to trigger him or just, you know, force the enemies to attack you is kind of up to you. I'm just going to move up for now and have my Ledin activate his faction buff. Bozel can move up as well. Sophia. Now here is the question, should I bother to rewind? I don't think it's worth it yet. I'd better save it, so let's just move up. I think Rewind will be clutch for taking out the Northern group. So, I do have lots of time though. 20 turns. It's turn 4. 
So why don't I just move Leon over in preparation to strike Igbert. And I'm just going to position characters ready to hit Igbert. Now, the thing here about the Northern group is Hein does have the Heaven's Flame with 4 range. So he has a lot of range to toss that Heaven's Flame at. So you have to be careful there. But my goal, so you should not push up on the right side as a result. Pushing up on the left will be easier because that's further away from Hein. So that's my plan. So let's position accordingly. I'm just going to move my characters up for now. Wait for Leon's cooldown to refresh so that I can kill off Igbert and then force a fight against the Northern enemies. In the meantime though, it's just a little bit of being patient. pretty good now. Just going to move Sophia back a little. Let's put Bozal here. There's going to be one, oh next turn chivalry is ready. So let's place Bozal here and have him faction buff after I end Lena's turn. Sophia can shift over one. Let him can just move back a tile. And we're ready to push in at this point. I'm also going to have... Yeah. So here we go. So time to kill Igbert. While not triggering attack from Hein. Shouldn't be too hard. Leon can shift over. With chivalry. And just a melee attack onto Igbert with assault. Because he has 993 defense, I don't expect to do much, if any, damage to this Igbert. He can move one, two, three to here, then one, two, three, four. So I Leon cannot be targeted where he is. Although to be safe, I might as well just place him down here. Whatever. Lana shifts forward. Lana will again my Lana so that Lana can get into range and finish off Egbert. So let's Dark Reaper. And Egbert is finished. So now, there's some northern enemies. So, let's have Leden at this point. Activate his Divine Guard. Bozo will move into range to draw out the attack. And Sophia is going to regenerate Leden. So I'm forcing at least the Flyer General to attack me this turn and triggering the enemies. Attack on Leden, regenerate, keeps him relatively healthy. Flyer General kills itself. And now Sophia uses sorry, Liana uses Super Rewind. So I can just retreat for now. Right? Let's pull back while Drawing out this attack. I want to get away from Hein. That's the main thing. 
So let's just have Lenin shift back and back and back. Lena can shift back. Leon can shift back. Lena will be the will draw out the attack from the Flyer General and heal up Leden. And everyone else can just move back for now. I do need to apply Sigis Hat on my Leden once again. So you need to be a little bit careful about the positioning. But this will do it. And Bozo will just run away. So I'm drawing these archers forward as they use their aim skills and whatnot. Further away than further and further away from Hein and those three bosses at the far back. Good. So now I kill off those three archers that are relatively isolated before dealing off with those last three enemies. So for now, continuing to regroup a little, let's just keep retreating. To regenerate. Huh? Good enough. Archers are coming down and separating further and further away from the Adrifter. Especially if they use aim and so on. But for now, let's have Leon crush this archer general with assault and retreat. And Ledin does not need to activate his divine guard right now. So I'm just buying time while pulling these archers away from the other group. I'm not even going to bother the faction buff just yet. Leon is responsible for crushing them. So I'm basically taking advantage of the fact that these archers have aim, so that they move further and further away, giving me the opportunity to crush them, isolate. So Leon can kill one and retreat. He can move one, two, and three. Then one, two, three, four. So if I place myself here, I'm definitely 100% safe. Bozo though, to now finally faction buff. And I'm going to have Lena toss out her free range attack at the Archer General. Almost killing it, but not quite. Ledin can just end his turn again. He's going to get he's going to tank the hit anyways. And I'll just heal up. At this point I'm pretty much ready to deal with Hein, who is the next target I need to kill. So why don't I begin with a miracle at this point? And I might as well regenerate. Let in. Okay. 
そうんかんりょうです。ターゲットは準備完了です。ケンド。準備完了です。準備完了です。準備完了です。準備完了です。準備完了です。準備完了です。準備完了です。準備完了です。And the assault on Hind. Was he not enough to one shot him? Which was a surprise to me because I expected he'd need to use the Lianas again. Okay. So. In that case, why don't I do a free range attack? Hmm. Need to figure out how to kill off this archer. I wanted to save the Dark Reaper if possible, but I don't think I can. Let's do a free range Dark Reaper. That will crush the archer. Let's have Leaden at this point. Activate the Vanguard. And I'm just getting ready to fight against the Lena. Super rewind once again. So now, crush Liana first, then deal with the last enemy, the Golden Skeleton. So, Leon, since he's still buffed, will melee attack this Liana to start. And it's already nearly dead, just like that. So, why don't I evade the Golden Skeleton for now? And focus on finishing off Vienna. Huh? All that's left, Golden Skeleton. So heal. It has no additional range buffs or anything like that, so it shouldn't be too hard to kill at this point. It's even lost the Mystic buff, so now it's super vulnerable. Might as well regenerate Red in. And might as well have. Yulia prayer. Down comes the skeleton. I'll start with putting it to sleep. And then... Let in, can we attack? Doing some damage. Lena. Let's rewind at this point. Well, let's again after Lena attacks. How about that? So Lena, ranged attack. Again, and the finish.
God of Chaos approaches. 30 Trinity Crystals, two more Alhazard's Aftermath items, and one Sullen Dark Fire. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. And on that note, Nitro out. <laughs>